Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wrath of the Empire YouTube channel. Today we're going to be uh, breaking down the lightsaber VFX from the trailer. If you haven't gone seen the trailer yet, please go and see it now, then come straight back. You can see it either on the channel or on our Kickstarter page. Uh, just go and take a look at that and then also come back so we'll be spoiling a couple of the shots from the trailer itself. Now the lightsaber tutorial is obviously something that's been done so many times on YouTube. We did ours quite differently to how most tutorials do them. Uh, we've tried to do them more in the style of The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi in terms of how they look, feel and sound. So um, it'll be a bit of a different tutorial so stay tuned even if you know kind of roughly how to make a lightsaber effect. And uh, we're kind of just doing it just so you guys can see more about how we made the VFX in the film. Uh, well, the trailer, sorry. We'll also be releasing a second uh, VFX breakdown, which will be the Vader Beach shot, which we'll be releasing um, in just over a week. Uh, that just revol um, involves some sky replacement, basically. Um, so make sure you check back for that as well. Uh, but without further ado, let's go into the VFX. So first you want to create a black solid layer and label it Saber. Turning that invisible, you're then going to want to mask around your lightsaber image and you will then want to mask the path so every change that you make is registered and keyframed. Once you've done that, you then want to go through every frame in the shots and just make sure the, uh, the mask is aligned to your lightsaber blade. You can usually do this every three or four shots possibly, but for this shot, as the lightsaber was a close-up and the lightsaber was moving so fast, we did have to do it frame by frame, but because it was a short shot, it didn't really take too much time at all. So after you've uh, gone through the mask, just kind of go through the frames that you missed out and make sure that they're aligned. After you've done that, create a white solid and name it Core and then uh, copy and paste the mask from Sabre onto that core and add Sabre into your Sabre layer. The uh, link for the plugin for Sabre will be in the link below. It's a free plugin from Video Copilot. You then want to get the colour for your Sabre. We use the same colour as a different shot for ours, uh, just a dark green. And then you want to adjust your settings so that the light Sabre is what you want. Um, change the flicker to 15 initially just to get your um, get the lightsaber looking alive and then you want to customize the core to the layer mask so that it fits around your lightsaber and then what you want to do is change the blending mode to screen so that the lightsaber has a good glow on uh, on your footage and then as you can see the core has created core in the lightsaber and the saber um, goes around the edge of the blade and now, as I say, you want to basically just customize all the settings to get the kind of look that you're going for. Now, we want a Force Awakens style blade that is very real uh, looking. It looks very part of the scene. And so we mask the feather of the core layer to 25. Now, this just blends the core layer with the saber layer a lot more. And they look, um, look like the same objects in a way. And then we changed our other settings to adjust. So mainly we focus on the glow intensity, glow spread, glow bias and the core size. And you just want to play around with those settings to get a good radius on the glow, something that um, uh, lights up the area around but also um, uh, has quite a descending effect so that uh, the glow core, uh, closer to the core of the blade is the brightest. So um, just uh, play around with those. Uh, settings just to see what um, what fits for you really and we also changed the uh, core softness to 15 just so that it emphasized that uh, mask expansion a little bit more and the core and the saber fit together nicely and these were our final settings for our close-up lightsaber shots and we pretty much kept these the same for all the close-up shots Next we'll show you a quick version of the long uh, shot of the lightsaber. 
Now we did exactly the same, just going through the layer, uh, the shot and masking every other frame. Um, we could do that as the shot moved slow and the lightsaber didn't move, so we could just go through every four frames, which made the process a lot quicker. And then once again, inputting our uh, core layer and the saber effects, we then changed the effects once more. We didn't need the mask uh, expansion or the core softness to be as intense this time. As the blade's further away, it doesn't need to fade as much. Now you want the lightsaber to be a bit more condensed when it's in a long shot because it is further away and with any light that's further away you see it in more harsh clarity It's not, and it's a lot more well defined and you want to have that same effect with a lightsaber as it is a light. Now the reason we did our effects like this, uh, quite a weird way and a different way to do the lightsaber is because we really wanted to utilise the control settings of the saber plugin which give you a lot of options in terms of um, your glow distribution, your radius, your bias and your intensity and also the softness of the blade. It just gives you a lot of options in that to play around with and also makes uh, the flicker a lot uh, more realistic and a lot better and makes the lightsaber look a lot more alive as I say um, and gives a lot more of a Force Awakens style uh, effect to the lightsaber. Um, the downside of that is that when you mask around an object, you can't fill that object with a white core, which is why you then have to create your uh, extra core layer uh, that is white and input that in. And you can see with our final settings, uh, there was more of a glow to this lightsaber, but it didn't spread as far as you want it to be to closer together. So thank you for watching the breakdown, we hope you enjoyed it, uh, let us know in the comments if you did, uh, like the video, dislike it if you didn't like it, um, and also please remember to share the Kickstarter and the, the teaser trailer, it really helps us out and if you do decide to pledge any amount then thank you so much, it is, every penny is helpful. And also have a look at our £20 reward video that delves into the Thrawn Collection uh, reward which is for a £20 pledge and comes with so many great rewards. Uh, please also remember to subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when other videos like the next VFX Breakdown get released. And also remember to follow our social media. But thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. By the Emperor's command, we are to track down the Jedi.